Hi everybody, this is Alex Deploy from Expert Forex uh, and I've recently received an inquiry from Sarah from the UK about the lot sizing inquiry and I'm just going to read her letter. Could you please explain the volume box and the different lot sizes? Are these calculated depending on the amount of your balance or do they actually refer to the actual amount? I.e. does one mean 10, uh, 10 pounds uh, or one lot? of your balance how is one lot calculated okay I'm going to do my best to to answer that question uh, there are two other questions which are which I'll answer in another video uh, but I'll we'll spend some time on this and and this question is actually a, a lot more involved than uh, than you might think so I'm going to go through the whole process and give you a good idea of how lot sizing is done right let's see Okay, I'm going to take uh, again the uh, example of this deal that uh, we're currently in on one of our alert services. As you can see, the, the price has made a beautiful head and shoulders formation and we are basically entering or have already entered on the breakout of the neckline and we are in, in currently in a deal. The uh, stop is uh, at the previous high, the shoulder high of the, of the breakout and our target is right down here determined in, in uh, some other fashion. But um, what, I, what I need to show you is how did we go about lot sizing for this particular deal. Let's go uh, straight into it and I've got a little lot size calculator uh, that I use. You can use, the, you can actually uh, do all of this on a piece of paper with a, a pencil so uh, there's nothing complicated about all of this. Firstly to answer portion of your uh, question, uh, 1.00 lot refers to $10 per pip. Uh, and I'm assuming that uh, we're trading something like the euro. Uh, some of the other currencies might be slightly different, $8 per pip. But in general, it refers to $10 per, per pip. Obviously, if you've got a pound account, that would be £10 per per pip. Um, so if you, go, if you trade one lot, each pip will be worth 10 cents. So this is what we call a main account. This is what we call a mini account. And that is what we call a macro account lot. 0.01 is a macro account, point, point 0.1 is a mini account, and 1 is the main account lot. So that's that's how lot sizing, uh, the lots work, and the value of the pips. So let's relate it back to this transaction that we have here. This transaction is quite a big one. We have a stop of, of 64 pips here. The the, the spread on this particular transaction is about three, so we got 67 pip spread on on this uh, transaction. Uh, and what what we now need to do is go back a little bit and say, all right, how much capital do we have in our account? So that's the starting point. How much money have you got in our account? And let's assume you have four thousand nine hundred dollars in your account. Now the next step is how much risk are you prepared to take for on every deal that you do? Now I wouldn't, I certainly very seldom go over 1%, uh, I sometimes do 2%, but 1% is a good starting point if you are trading your own money. Uh, and only when you have a very good successful record should you increase that to 2% percent or three percent or four percent but certainly start out with one percent so I'm going to give the example of risking one percent so one percent of your capital your maximum risk that you can have is forty forty nine dollars now we get it we've just worked out that the stop is sixty three uh, sixty four plus three so sixty seven uh, pips so we enter our sixty seven pips here 67 pips and the calculator calculates that we can enter 0.07313 lots but remember the broker only goes to the last two so you can enter 0.07 uh, 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 lots. Now, if your account was bigger, obviously, then that amount would be bigger. But it is, um, it's a very simple calculation. All I've done is I've divided the maximum amount that I can risk on this trade, which is dollars, forty-nine dollars, and uh, uh, the uh, risk that I'm taking on uh, a single uh, lot is sixty-seven pips. So therefore, it says no, you can only trade point oh seven. 
uh, lots. Okay, so what does that mean? So it means if when we do open a, a trade, uh, we then enter 0.7 lots into that uh, into the volume. Now, by doing that and and entering the cell, the, the stop values and the entry values that that I've just shown you you are assured that your transaction will never lose more than 1% of your account. In other words, you can sleep quite restfully. You don't have to watch this transaction for, 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 for a long time because it's not going to ruin your life losing 1% of your account. It will, however, if, if it goes to the target, you can see you could make, most probably make about 3% on your account, but that's not the topic of this particular one. So let's just go back to the question that was asked and... Um, Okay, so could you explain the volume box? So that's what it, it means. You manually enter the volume as you've just seen me do. Uh, and are these calculated depending on the amount of your balance? Yes, as you've seen, I've taken the balance of my account, applied the amount of risk that I'm prepared to do, and it actually, uh, you then calculate the uh, lot sizing. Uh, it's based on uh, the uh, lot values uh, that you have depending on whether you've got a, a British account or an American account and which currencies you use and that is how um, how you actually manage the lot sizing now if for instance the uh, lot uh, if you were willing to risk uh, two percent of your account then your lot sizing as you can see immediately uh, it means you can risk ninety eight dollars and your lot sizing then get, goes to 1.4 and you merely just type in the um, 1.4 physically type it in and there you are All right that means that I can only lose 2% of my capital and I can actually sleep quite easily so uh, just looking at your question, uh, hopefully I've answered your question. So before you even open this box, do a little calculation on a piece of paper. Say, what is my capital? What is my maximum risk that I can have? What am I risking on this transaction for my stop? And it will then tell you how many lots you can calculate, uh, you can use. So for me, Alex Deploy, uh, Sarah, thank you very much for your inquiry. Um, and from Expert Forex, Cheerio, and uh, I will be answering your other two, two questions in a further video. Bye.